What up, guys? It's your boy, Unveiling AI News, and I am never doing that again, so don't ask me to do it. Okay, folks, today I want to talk about Sam Altman's recent statement about a bold vision for an AI-powered future from personal AI teams and a cutting-edge device designed by Johnny Ive, one of the masterminds behind iPhone, to open AI crypto scams and Altman's so-called God mode of AI. So Sam Altman has a pretty ambitious idea of where AI is heading, and it's a future that could completely transform how we live, work, and engage with technology because he's talking about super intelligent AI, smarter than any human being. And according to him, this is just around the corner. And by just around the corner, he means possibly within the next decade. Sam is betting big on what he calls massive prosperity, and his blog gives us a glimpse of a world where AI isn't just a tool, but basically it becomes an essential part of society, solving issues we can barely even conceive of right now. Basically, the heart of Altman's vision centers on the idea that human progress hasn't come from our biological evolving, but from society itself, becoming more intelligent over time. And right now, society functions as a form of collective intelligence, where our infrastructure is smarter than any of us as individuals. Altman sees AI as the next leap in boosting that collective intelligence, so he imagines a future where each of us could have our own personal AI team, virtual experts integrated into our daily lives, and so much more. Picture these AIs as ultra-specialized assistants working together to manage everything. Of course, the goal isn't to replace humans, but to enhance what we're capable of way beyond what we can do on our own. And I think this sounds pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> then Altman believes that AI will have the power to tackle the toughest challenges, the ones humanity has struggled with for years, like pushing the boundaries on medical science and finding real solutions to climate change. So it seems that AI is set to revolutionize the way we solve problems, and hopefully these aren't just some far-off empty promises. Then Sam suggests that AI could lead to scientific breakthroughs, make industries more efficient, and drive an unprecedented global economic boost. This prosperity, according to him, could raise everyone's standards of living to levels that we can barely imagine today, basically stating that AI isn't just another gadget or passing trend, but it's a kind of engine that could drive the next era of human progress. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows, folks, because there are serious challenges on the horizon. One major concern is infrastructure. So Altman emphasizes that if we don't scale up our computing power, meaning more chips, data centers, and energy to fuel this future, AI could become a scarce resource, available only to the wealthy and powerful, and this could obviously spark inequality or even conflicts over who controls access to AI. For this, Sam argues that making AI widely available and affordable is crucial to prevent it from becoming an exclusive tool for the elite. Now, here's something pretty interesting for your consideration. The collaboration with Johnny Ive, the design mastermind behind the iPhone, Together, they're working on a groundbreaking AI device. While details are still being kept under wraps, the project is reportedly supported by Loreen Pyle Jobs Emerson Collective, which plans to raise up to $1 billion by the end of the year. The goal is to combine Ives' sleek, user-friendly design with the incredible potential of AI, creating a device that's not just functional, but seamlessly integrated into our daily lives. So whether it's a touchscreen or something entirely new, the focus is on crafting a personalized, intelligent user experience. And interestingly, the team behind this project includes some of the minds who worked on the original iPhone and Apple Watch. However, folks, I guess that not everyone is buying into Altman's vision because there are plenty of skeptics out there who think he's overselling AI's potential, comparing its predictions to grand promises without enough substance. And Gary Marcus, one of the most vocal AI critics, has publicly dissected Altman's blog post, calling it more of a sales pitch than a grounded analysis of AI's actual capabilities. 
Some even argue that while AI might help in specific areas, the idea that it will solve all of humanity's problems or the talk of building space colonies feels <laughs> overly ambitious. They point out that while deep learning, the tech behind AI's recent breakthroughs, is powerful, we're still a long way from achieving the kind of superintelligence that Altman is envisioning. Now, folks, let's talk about a very important issue, crypto scam. Just recently, Altman's own OpenAIX, formerly Twitter, account was hacked in a crypto scam where attackers promoted a fake token called OpenAI. And the phishing scam was aimed at stealing crypto wallet credentials from users. And this wasn't even the first time OpenAI-related accounts had been hacked because similar scams have targeted other high-profile OpenAI employees, including the chief scientist and a top researcher. The fact that even the highest level executives are being targeted shows just how real the security risks are in the digital world. But OpenAI isn't slowing down on the innovation front because they're developing a new voice mode for ChatGPT, which will let users have more interactive, real-time, voice-based conversations with AI. And I figure it's another step toward making AI more engaging and practical in everyday life. The aim is to turn AI from a purely text-based assistant into something you can engage with on a deeper level, boosting both accessibility and usability. Altman's take on the labor market is also worth talking about because he acknowledges that as AI develops, there will be disruptions. Some jobs will disappear, but he's confident that society will adapt just like it has during other major technological shifts, like the move from agriculture to industry. He's optimistic that AI won't just eliminate boring, repetitive jobs, but will create new opportunities for people to contribute in more meaningful ways. The nature of work will change, but Altman believes we won't run out of things to do. He points out that a lot of today's jobs would have seemed pointless or impossible to people living hundreds of years ago. So he sees AI as part of a positive sum game where the overall pie gets bigger and everyone can get more value out of it. Altman is calling this the intelligence age, and he's not shy about predicting some pretty astonishing achievements because he talks about solving things like climate change, building space colonies, and unlocking the mysteries of physics. Things that sound almost too good to be true. And yet, he believes that with nearly unlimited intelligence and energy, AI will help us achieve these once impossible goals. To get there, though, we need the right infrastructure, and that's why there's so much focus on scaling up the compute power needed to support these AI models. Just like I was mentioning in the last video about OpenAI's O1 secrets, uh, be sure to check that out. Anyway, deep learning has been incredibly successful so far, folks, but it needs more power, more energy, more chips, and more data to keep improving. And without those resources, Altman warns that we could find ourselves in a situation where AI is only accessible to those who can afford it, which could lead to even greater divides in our society. Sam's latest vision of AI has been described as going beyond just founder mode and entering what some are calling God mode. In his recent post, Sam paints an almost divine image of what AI could achieve, really hyping up its world-changing potential because he positions AI as the ultimate solution to humanity's biggest problems, from climate change to space colonizing almost as if AI alone holds the key to our future progress. Critics, though, see this as over the top and have even warned that it could backfire. Some argue that Altman's promises might end up inviting skepticism rather than admiration, with many wondering if we're actually heading towards a technological utopia or just witnessing another round of exaggerated tech hype. This whole God mode concept raises the stakes significantly as Altman frames AI not just as a tool, but as the driving force behind a new era of human advancement. But I guess the real question now is whether AI can live up to these massive expectations or if we're about to hit the limits of what it can really do. 
It's no longer a question of whether AI will change the world. We're kind of past that. But now it's about how it will change it and who will stand to gain the most from that transformation. There's a lot riding on getting this right. But if Altman's predictions are accurate, we could be entering an age of innovation and prosperity unlike anything we have ever seen. Okay, folks, hit that like button and subscribe if you found this video interesting and insightful. Also, let me know what you think in the comments. Those are down below. As always, see you in the next video, folks. You all take care.